All right, so I'm going to go through how to know if your computer can run multiple monitors and how to make it so that they will. I didn't find anything online that helped me figure this out on my own, so I'm going to try to give you some guidance. All right, so here's what you need to do. First off, you need to know what type of graphics cards that you have because you need to know whether or not you can actually get multiple monitors on your graphics card. So the best resource I found for this is online here. Um, found this good article right here. It goes over complete guide to multiple monitors. Um, so blah 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 blah. The most important things it talks about the latest high-end NVIDIA 500 series and AMD 7 6000 can drive for physical connections and before that they talk about how um, modern graphics cards usually can score up to um, at least three and so uh, give you an idea of like what's a modern graphics card and everything so my computer is right here you can see it's a Dell XPS 2012 um, this computer has a an Intel uh, this computer has an Intel um, HD 4000 um, graphics and also has um, an <coughs> NVIDIA 640M. Uh, the way that you can check that is if you go here, go to Device Manager, the way that you pull that up. And I'm going to give the link to this um, web page. Um, it'll be in the, the comments thing. And so you go here, just type in device manager and go to it. And I don't know how to do this on a Mac, but I know there's a way to check. So we look online. And then display adapters, you can see Intel HD Graphics 4000, NVIDIA GE Force, GT 640. So the reason why that's important for me to show you is because most a lot of the good quality computers nowadays have a very similar graphics setup. Like a lot of MacBook Pros will have pretty much the same exact configuration, and of course the newer ones, XPSs, MacBook Pros, will have an even better um, configuration than this, like graphics higher 4000 4, series or or whatever, or higher than the GT 640 um, graphics card. And so, um, and so, uh, the way that it can tell the difference between multiple graphics cards, essentially on your, on your, or that you can actually handle more than one graphics card, essentially on your motherboard, there has to be attachments for each one of the graphics cards. And as you can see right here, I'll try to unclutter a bit. This is a Display Port, and this is HDMI. And so, in my computer. Um, the display port goes to the NVIDIA GTX or GT uh, graphics card and the HDMI goes to the Intel uh, HD 4000 and so the way that you know that is if you have multiple then usually if it's just a laptop then it's going to have only one adapter for, for, for like exporting a um, display ports both of these are exporting once HDMI, one of them is um, DisplayPort, right? And so they're going to have different access on the motherboard. And so for a larger computer, you usually have more spaces on the motherboard. And you can get in there and you can add stuff into like the, the slots inside. You can get like VGA and uh, DVI and like multiple other types of displays and uh, probably a lot more display ports and whatnot. On a laptop, it's pretty much what you see is what you get um, as far as um, how many physical adapters you have. And so, um, since you only get what you get with the amount of adapters that you have, you can kind of improvise. And so, one of the ways that you can use these better graphics cards to do more is as you'll notice again, right here with the display port. This goes mini display port all the way up to. Back here, you have. Sorry, I'll make this bigger. Uh, 
All right, so again, you have me display port right here, right? And it is going back here to the display, the large display port right there, right here. So I'm trying to look at the videos. I know what I'm showing you right here, and then underneath over here, we have another mini display port right there. And what that is used for is you can do what's called daisy chaining where you basically have it coming out from your laptop going to the monitor and then from the monitor you can go to more monitors if they support the if they have um, daisy chaining by having those extra things and so actually those extra ports and so as you can see here we have um, multiple displays. I got it connected to my TV also. And so you can go here. Um, shoot, it probably would be nice to have this bigger. Okay, so let's just show this. So I'm going to go from. <laughs> that's really confusing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so right here. Have this and it goes from there to there to over here, right? So it works. Um, some more ways that you can get uh, more displays up other than just daisy chaining and using the different ports that you have on there is you can use USB 3, and USB 3 usually has um, well, USB 3 transfers enough data that you can uh, connect uh, more monitors that way. And also online, usually more so with desktop computers, you can you can look up online on the graphics cards. Um, example, if you go to NVIDIA, uh, if you type in like the NVIDIA's the graphics card that you want, uh, a lot of times it will show in specifications how many monitors it can uh, display. For the notebooks, it doesn't seem to, but if you go to the desktop ones, this is the big part of like, I don't know, just click on some random one. This is a big part of modern gaming. People want multiple monitors and they want to be able to provide that. And so down here, you can look at all the different um, deal and then multiple monitors. See, and then it'll like specify how many displays it supports. And in, in that case, it might even be able to display more, but they're probably only confident in displaying that many for um, higher graphics things. So like my um, two can display just fine for three screens, but I'm not going to be able to play games on each screen. I can only play, I can only do like stagnant video. And so uh, what else? Um, so yeah. Um, hopefully this video will help somebody. I know it's not like the best quality, but, um, but it's whatever. Oh yeah. And so there's one more thing I wanted to show. So if you go here, you can also figure out what is, yeah. So if you click on, right click on your screen, um, you can either check screen, uh, Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're going to look at how to like manage multiple displays. And so you can either click on screen resolution or if you have an NVIDIA card, they have an NVIDIA control panel. But this is like the standard Windows setup. And so from here, you know, you can look at your multiple displays. You can put them in portrait or whatever based off whether or not your screen can turn sideways. Um, but what's important is whether or not you're like even plugged into power if you have a monitor plugged into your computer you can check whether or not um, your Gax card will support another computer by clicking on one of the screens and making sure that multiple displays is extend desktop to this display um, because sometimes it'll let you have multiple connections but it will um, um, not let you actually view them at the same time and so if you click on these, you can also click on advanced settings and it shows which graphics card it is set to. And this one's 
the Intel one, and this one's also the Intel one. And so the main confidence I can give you as far as whether or not your computer can actually support multiple monitors is pretty much just that if you have more modern GPUs and if you have an integrated, integrated dedicated, um, like multiple GPUs, like technically the integrated one is built into the processor, but that's not the point. Um, point is, you should be able to do multiple, especially if you have a dedicated graphics card. Um, and and yeah, so definitely if you have my configuration, which most nicer modern computers do, then you should be just fine. Um, and so that's all I've got. Hopefully this benefits somebody. If not, then I failed. <laughs>